Do you remember what sort of what sorts of foods you would have for breakfast? We have always had oatmeal. Yeah. Also, and we, we never had t coffee in the house until my oldest brother was away and then came home, like he was working away from home, and he came home and <laughs> introduced us to coffee. None of us, uh, I never drank coffee very much in my lifetime, but I did a little. One thing about eating, I remember, was uh, how nice it was to go out to the garden and get a radish and the lettuce and a cucumber and come in and make your a sandwich with a little bit of cheese and all those nice fresh vegetables. <laughs> and do you remember anything about dinner? What you would eat for dinner? Well, um, we always had meat of course because uh, uh, we had on the farm we had cattle and pigs and, and, uh, and for a short time we had sheep. Um, and Dad was a great hunter. He uh, was a good shot and got uh, deer and uh, partridge and ducks and things like that. Yeah. yeah. One situation about the deer, Dad went into town and he took all the shells with him because he didn't want the boys wasting his shells. The only thing was there were, he missed one shell. So the, uh, John and Lionel, they would have been about uh, 16 and 18 at that time, and John was the better shot. So he had the gun, and they, he shot a deer right between the eyes, right in the middle of the forehead. And so Dad came home from town, and then Dad and Mom came home. Here was the deer, and of course they had to string it up and bleed it and, mm -hmm. and butcher it. <laughs> Do you remember having your, your mother making anything fancier if she expected company? No, I remember being embarrassed because there wasn't any baking, uh, and I was pr pretty little then. There wasn't any baking and people dropped in on a Sunday. Um, but uh, we always seemed to have enough fruit to make a fruit salad. Of course, in years to come I learned that the fruit salad was far superior to what the lot of, of fancy baking, you know. But uh, I didn't know it then as a kid. <laughs> Well, do you remember any of the desserts that your mother would make? Any baking? Uh, well, we used to have cream of wheat for dessert sometimes. Uh, baked apples. What were some of the other? Bread and butter puddings, I remember those. Um, we weren't much for pies, although we did manage to do a lot of pies in the, uh, when the thrashing machine, thrashing uh, gang were there. Yeah. Oh yeah, we we would have cakes and pies occasionally. Yeah. Hmm. Do you remember where your mother got the, the groceries? Uh, uh, Dad was a postmaster at, at Mechelen, and uh, the postman had to bring the mail uh, the mail from Keys. Well, there was a grocery store at Keys. It was a general store. And uh, she would just phone up the the grocery store and say what she'd like different things, and uh, so the post, post the man who brought the mail would bring out those groceries for us. So it was very nice. Uh, of course, we had other times when we went into uh, this town that was 13 miles away or 18 miles away, and and you got uh, more groceries. You know, you got the big things like flour and sugar. And did the food that you ate change between seasons at all? Oh yes, in the winter time we had the uh, preserved fruit, you know, the peaches and the, the choke cherries, not choke cherries, uh, cranberries and uh, uh, Saskatoons, that's the one I was think, trying to think of. And of course this was Manitoba, you see. Um, and then, and then we had to have the uh, potatoes were all in a, a pit in the yard, uh, quite a deep pit, and uh, you had a certain amount in the house down in the basement. Um, and then every, when you finished that bunch, you went out and dug the others out, you know. And that's how you would store the potatoes? That's how you would store potatoes in a pit? Yeah. Yeah, a, a pit, and you made sure it was down far enough that it didn't freeze. And in the summertime, um, we had uh, wood uh, shavings, you know, uh, uh, what do you call them? Sawdust. Sawdust. 
and uh, the boys uh, would put the ice down in a, a, a sort of a well, and then you put the sawdust, and then you, it, you did store a few things there if you wanted them to over uh, more than one day, you know. Yeah. Do you remember going berrying, like picking berries? Oh, yes, I used to love to pick berries, and they used to take me when I was quite young because I was good at it. I, I, I guess I was just fast, I don't know. And I enjoyed picking cranberries. And, and the only thing was you had to remember not to eat anything because if you started, then you, you didn't stop, you know. So you never, never tasted what you ate until you'd finished picking. Yeah. Hmm. I remember, especially during 29, uh, when the Depression hit, and we were very lucky to have our own meat and to have our own garden, you know, so, you know, because uh, it really hit home, that, that depression. You know, I remember wanting a pair of knee-high socks, and I didn't even ask for them, because I thought, just knew there was no money. And I remember one time seeing Dad dressed up to go to town, and the bottom of the suit, was the material was frayed at just a little bit at the bottom. Mm. And I thought, oh boy, I bet he wish he could have a new suit. <laughs> huh. And was was it like that in, in most of the town? Were most of the same people suffering from the Depression? Oh yeah, sure. Everybody was having problems, yeah. You mentioned your mother to a lot of canning, preserving? Uh, yeah, preserving. And uh, not so much canning, but the preserving, yeah. And then she used to also uh, uh, put eggs into what you call a water glass and it, it keeps the eggs during the winter um, so that it, when the hens are laying well, you had extra eggs. And then when you, they weren't laying as well, you, know, you had some to fall back on. What sorts of things would she preserve? What did she preserve? Yeah. Uh, peaches, apricots. Um, then she did the cranberries, of course, and the Saskatoons. Uh, we and rhubarb too. I think I don't remember whether we had, or was the rhubarb mixed with something. You know, maybe it was mixed with strawberries. <laughs> oh, I know it was rhubarb jam. That was it. Yeah, yeah, rhubarb and strawberry jam. Huh. And where would these things come from? Because he wouldn't be growing peaches in Manitoba. Oh well, he she would have to get those from the grocery store. Yeah, the peaches and apricots, things like that.